Welcome back with sports on hold. So many in the athletic world are trying to do their part to help during this coronavirus pandemic. The Pacers had an employee from right here in the Wabash Valley who stepped out of his element and learned something new that's helping others. For the last 13 years, Terre Haute North and ISU grad Josh Condor has served as the Pacers equipment manager. It's a job he's loved and is missing at the moment. Since we're at a standstill, I'm missing all the players, the staff, the the coaches, everyone. Josh is the kind of guy that can't just sit around. So when his bosses challenge employees within the Pacers organization to learn something new during their hiatus, Josh was up for the task. To learn how to sew. That's an interesting idea from a person who didn't even own a sewing machine until last week. Till last Tuesday, I have never ever so sewed in my life. I tried once or twice and it did not work out very well. So I was like, well, this would be a good time to, time to um, learn. Josh was a quick learner and he knew what he wanted to make. I found a Joanne Fabric video how to make healthcare worker masks. So I um, bought a sewing machine, all the material that you need to make face masks. The Terre Haute native said he wasn't very good at first, but he has it down now. My first one, it took me about 45 minutes, but um, now I can probably make 10, 10 masks in 45 minutes. Josh knew right away who he was giving the mask to. I wanted to make them for these face masks for all the healthcare workers, um, homeless people, anybody who needs them really. Um, I had my first hundred of them I made, I donated to IMPD to hand out to all the homeless. Condor says what he did is just his way of saying thank you to those making the world a better place right now. It's a great feeling to be able to help others that do so much for all of us. Josh also has a simple reminder for all of us during this crisis. Please stay safe and healthy and we're all in this together. Josh told me he's made 160 masks already and plans to continue to make more masks until he goes back to work.